Welcome back into Live in the Bay. Our next guest is a musical educator, a musical artist, and she's doing some amazing things for Women's History Month. We are now joined by Adrian Shamzad. Adrian, thank you so much hey, for joining for us me. today. Yes, we're so happy to have you here today. You are a woman of many talents, but first and foremost, before anything, you are a music educator. So first tell me about how you got into music and really how you got started as an educator. I've been actually playing guitar since I was about 13 or 12 and I started teaching when I was 15. I just love teaching. I love guiding other artists and aspiring artists to discover and explore their self-expression through music. It's been my portal for transformation in my life and mm -hmm. just coaxing that out of others is just my great privilege. And I teach private lessons and I do group classes and uh, I have a class coming up in May online, a songwriting course that I'm teaching and Yay. excited to meet new people and have my continuing students be a part of that as well. Well, how can people get involved? People might want to get involved in some of these classes that you're teaching. Yeah, they can find me on my website and just shoot me an email. I'm very accessible and and that's it. It's very simple. Yeah. Now let's talk about you as an artist because Thanks. I know you love to take your passion for music and give that to others, but where did it first start where you found your love for music and became an artist and started singing? Well, I've been a performer and in theater and musical theater since I was very small. I started when I was five years old and grew up in the Bay. I was in the San Francisco Revels when I was a little kid. Really? And yeah, I just, it's been my life path and I started playing guitar when I was in high school and just pursued that and songwriting so deeply and it just pulled me into this whole swirl of life and I've been playing piano for you know most of my life as well and in 2016 I started studying Iranian traditional music mm -hmm. and learned to play the setar. I've been studying the setar and uh, Persian poetry yeah. and incorporating those influences into my songwriting and into my into my music. Oh that's so beautiful. Beautiful. And you will be doing actually a performance in honor of Women's History Month in Berkeley yeah. this weekend. Tell me all about it. People are probably going to want to come tune in. They should absolutely come. It will be wonderful if I don't say so myself. <laughs> um, we'll be on uh, Saturday at the yeah. back room in Berkeley, um, just off University Avenue. And yeah, it's a really sweet a venue, a great space to play, and you get to sit in some couches and relax. And I'm playing a whole set of my latest album that just came out, my album Wash It All Away, which is streaming and available for download and purchase. And and I'll be playing songs with my setar, and I'll be sharing new music, and it'll be a multicultural Bay Area extravaganza. Yes, <laughs> I love that. I love that celebration part of everything. Now, you're going to be playing a song for us today, Adrian. Yeah. Tell me about this song and why, why was this song special for today's appearance? Well, I wanted to just share some of this bridge between my American upbringing and my Iranian heritage that has been such a huge part of my development as an artist and as a, a soul for the past yeah. eight years. And uh, so the song actually features a couple lines of poetry from an amazing artist named Marjan Vahdat. Mm -hmm. And then I'll sing the song that I wrote in English and it's called If I Were Free, oh, which I is an important that. message for all of us. I yes. absolutely believe that. Well, without further ado, I'm going to say, why don't you take your satar and get in position Wonderful. because we are very excited. Yay. Yes, please. Thank you so much. And like she said, you can check out her new album. It is available on all streaming platforms. Make sure you go support her. And also, Berkeley this Saturday, everybody, Women's History Month. She's an amazing woman. She's making history. But without further ado, I'm going to send it over to Adrian.
That was beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so Thanks much. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Thank you so One much. final time, this Saturday, how can people check you out? Come to the back room in Berkeley. You can find out on my website and um, or just show up. I'll be there, 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You have a Can't voice we, of an angel. Oh well, my thank goodness. you. Yes, thank I'm you so, so happy much. to share with you guys. And I love the Bay, born and raised. So thank you for this show and this opportunity to of share. Of course. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Yay.